There is lots to love about this effect. But for me, my favourite part is its simplicity. It is clear number four, which means that the only tip in my pocket is your tip. Tip number five. Thank you, number one. Which means that the winning coach tip is your number four. Well done. It's an amazing guess. You're a great gambler. You show six poker chips, each with a different number, one through six. You mix the chips up and remove one without the spectator knowing which one it is. They then name any number they like between one and six, and no matter what, it is a perfect match for your prediction. Let me ask you, out of the two of you, who do you think is the worst gambler? You went to the casino, who would have the worst? Like, you think you'd have the worst? Do you have precedent for that, or is that just a guess? Uh, I think I went to Vegas, and I thought that I mean, everything I uh, we're in the same boat. I went recently and just it was absolutely disastrous. Um, but there is one bet I'm really good at and I'm going to make you really good at it too, okay? Um, so it's a bet that we're both going to win if it goes well. So I have six poker chips with me and they each have a number, one through six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I want you to get a mental like snapshot of what that looks like. Lock it into your head. Because in a second, I'm going to ask you to revisit it and pick one of the numbers at random. Don't choose anything yet, okay? I'm going to try and subtly influence you to pick the number that I want you to pick. So, one thing to know before we begin, it's going to feel like a three choice, but it isn't, okay? So before we begin, take a second, take five seconds if you need. I'm not sure if you're picking up on some pretty bad influencing I'm doing here. Um, also, there's six, so you can pick six if you want. Um, so look, I'm going to mix them up. And, uh, you know what, I'm going to put them behind my back, actually. Are we allowed to? Yeah, why not? Okay. okay. Don't choose anything yet, though. Don't choose anything yet. I'm going to take one out. Uh, look at me. Not that one. You know what, I don't want to see it, actually. I'm going to take that one out. You don't know what it is? You don't know what number's on that chip? Perfect. Okay, I'm going to put it in my... Oh, wow, it's a bit a tight squeeze. I'm going to put it in my back pocket. Okay. So... I've got five chips in my hand now. Okay. Neither of us know which one was removed, but one was removed. Okay. You can work together, but once you give me an answer, you can't change your mind. What number do you think was removed? Five. Five. Oh, you can't change your mind. Five is the answer. Okay. So look, in my hand, I have chip number two that went there. I have chip number six that went there. Chip number three. Chip number one, which means this one is either four or five. It is chip number four, which means that the only chip in my pocket is your chip. Chip number five. You are way luckier than you think you are. Come on. There we go. Two and one. Perfect. Thank you so much. And one, which means that the missing chip, Emily, unbelievably, is your missing chip. Number three, oh my goodness. This effect has a bold and brilliant method. It's ready to go anytime, it is practically self-working and there are absolutely no magnets or moving parts to fail you. It is a surefire direct hit every single time. When I perform this effect, it is a bet that me and the spectator both win. You can also perform this as a challenge effect, a gambling demonstration, or use the chips to represent anything you want. I'm Spooky Nyman, and this is Discovery. Check it out.